This video is about the axiom of continuity. The idea behind continuity is that people have similar preferences for similar bundles. If X is preferred to Y, bundles close to X are preferred to bundles close to Y. There are no jumps in utility. Continuity guarantees that every preference relation can be represented by a continuous utility function and vice versa. Here are two formal definitions. Definition 1. A preference relation is continuous if for any x strongly preferred to y, there exists a number epsilon greater than zero, such that every bundle A that is less distant from x than epsilon, and every bundle B that is less distant from y than epsilon, results in A being strongly preferred to B. To put this another way, a preference relation is continuous if, for any x strongly preferred to y, there are some neighborhoods n epsilon x and n epsilon y around x and y, such that for every a in n epsilon x and b in n epsilon y, we have a strongly preferred to b. One way to picture this is to imagine a circle around bundles x and y of radius epsilon. These circles represent the neighborhood. There will always exist some circle, even if very small, within which every bundle A within the neighborhood of X is preferred to bundle B within the neighborhood of Y. The intuition behind this definition is that a very small change in your bundle should not result in a sudden switch of your preferences. If you prefer 5 bananas to 2 oranges, you will likely prefer 4.9 bananas to 2 oranges. And if not, there will be some amount of bananas between 4.9 and 5 that you prefer over 2 oranges. Here's another intuitive example. If you prefer a Mercedes to a Toyota, there will be some level of defect in the Mercedes that you would be willing to accept while still preferring the Mercedes to the Toyota. Definition 2. If X, Y and Z are lotteries, with X weakly preferred to Y and Y weakly preferred to Z, the continuity axiom requires that there exists a probability P, such that Y is equally as good as a mix of X and Z. That is, there exists P, such that the agent is indifferent between PX plus 1 minus P times Z and Y. This diagram illustrates continuity under this definition. On the diagram are three bundles, X, Y and Z, and each sits on a different indifference curve. The indifference curve that X is on is higher than that of Y, which is higher than that of Z. That is, X is preferred to Y, and Y preferred to Z. Now consider a gamble that pays X with probability P and Z with probability 1 minus P. Each value of P would result in a gamble with utility falling between that of X and Z. If we were to draw a line between X and Z, you could think of the utility of the gamble for each value of P as having the same utility as a bundle on that line. Under the continuity axiom, there would be no holes in that line. For some value of P, that gamble will be on the same indifference curve for Y. At that point, P times X plus 1 minus P times Z is equally as good as Y. Example of discontinuous preferences. Lexicographic preferences occur where an agent prefers any amount of a good X to any amount of another good Y. If choosing between bundles of goods, the agent will choose the bundle with the most X, regardless of the amount of Y. They will only consider the amount of Y if the amount of X in two bundles is identical. Consider an agent with lexicographic preferences who is offered the following combinations of X and Y. A with 1X and 1Y, B with 1X and 2Y, and C with 1.1X and 1Y. Their preference ranking will be C, is strictly preferred to B, which is strictly preferred to A. They prefer C as it has more X than the other two options. As A and B have the same amount of X, the agent distinguishes them based on the quantity of Y, preferring B. This function is not continuous as there is a jump whenever there is an increase in X, even if Y is large.
add an infinitesimal amount epsilon of x to bundle A and the preference relation between bundle A and bundle B flips. These three bundles, A, B and C, are represented graphically. First, let's consider these preferences in terms of the first definition, being that there are some neighbourhoods around A and B such that we will always prefer another bundle of goods within the neighbourhood of B to any bundles within the neighbourhood of A. Around A I have drawn a circle of radius epsilon, which we can consider to be the neighbourhood. No matter how small I draw this circle, that is, no matter how small epsilon, any bundle within the circle that lies to the right of A, that is, contains x greater than 1, is preferred to bundle B. There is a jump in preferences to the right of A. One interesting feature of lexicographic preferences is that you cannot draw indifference curves on this figure. If a bundle differs from another, it must be strictly preferred to the other as no amount of y can make up for any amount of x. We can also consider lexicographic preferences in terms of the second definition of continuity. There is no P for which P times A plus 1 minus P times C is equally as good as B. When P equals 1, B is strictly preferred to A. For any P less than 1, P times A plus 1 minus P times C is strictly preferred to B as any non-zero share of C makes the combination of A and C preferred. 